when you're forced to make the call to see who wins or loses the Super Bowl, then that's when the world becomes so difficult. Super Bowl 43, it, it has to be. I mean, the touchdown pass from Roethlisberger to Santonio Holmes. 43 seconds to go. Ben, he pumps. He scrambles around, throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown! Santonio Holmes! I don't know how he did it! Little field judge from Lafayette, Louisiana is the guy that had to make the call. And it was so close, it was so tough, it was so big, he ruled it a catch, followed it all the way to the ground, saw he held onto the ball, went touchdown. You know that there's 120 million people watching you on that field at Super Bowl, and you understand the pressure. They have ruled touchdown. This is reviewable. It's gotta be, it's gotta be reviewed. To make that call that decides who wins the game, that is so close, replay can't really even tell if it's right or wrong until they got a shot that just showed the toe dragon. I mean, you can't believe how happy I was. After review, the receiver controlled the football, came down on both toes, inbounds, touchdown. And this stadium erupts. The terrible towel is very much in evidence. If you make a big mistake in the Super Bowl, people are gonna talk about it for another six months until you start again. I'm heading the department. I'm in charge of all the officials. And when the game ended, I basically ran down to the locker room and he was sitting there on a chair and Greg Gatro is from Lafayette, Louisiana. I said, Greg, greatest call I've ever seen in Super Bowl history. You nailed it. He broke down and started crying. I mean, that's the pressure that uh, officials are under when it gets to be Super Bowl time. Santonio Joseph comes down with his feet down in the corner. What a throw, what a catch, what a game. I was just thrilled that we got it right.